Hello dear brothers and sisters in Christ and everyone watching this program welcome back today uh, we are going to discuss about the most important thing uh, regarding the Bible knowing the Bible versus knowing the language of the Bible this is a big problem nowadays people think that if you know the language you know everything you understand the Bible that's not true that's not true if that was true, the Jewish people would have been number one in accepting the, the Lord Jesus Christ and uh, coming to him because their language is their original language. And there wouldn't have been any, anyone who would perish because they know the uh, language, the Aramic language. There are so many. The Greek language, they don't know the Bible. They read the Bible in their original language yet knowing the bible is totally different from there so this is uh bart erman let's go and then uh, see terry gross listen terry, when terry. my guest bart erman was a young evangelical christian he wanted to know how god became a man uh -huh. but now as an agnostic and historian of early christianity he wants to know how a man became god uh-huh how god became man and now reverse engineering how man became God. Does anyone do, do does is there anyone who believe a Christian that says God man become God? No, nobody, nobody in Christianity. But this evil d demon possessed Bart Arman, he chose the Bible. As I said before, I am strong in this in this area because there is this is people are you know deceiving these are the beasts of the earth these are nothing but the beasts of the earth so i'm not going to you know stop from bashing him up for the reason because this 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 confuse other people let's listen and it took place when ahimelech was the high priest abiathar's father so i wrote a 30 page paper arguing that in fact, even though it says that Abiathar was the high priest, it means that Ahimelech was the high priest. <laughs> it's like a very complicated argument, you know, and with the grammar of, of the Greek and style. Look, look, this is this is where he hides everything. He hides behind the grammar of Greeks, the Greeks grammars, and the syntaxes of the Greeks language. That's what he's working this one. People trust him because he knows the language. Well, my friend, watch out. I argued, so 30 pages later, boom, it really was a Himalayan boom. piece of mm -hmm. So at the end, my, my teacher was very pious, mm -hmm. very pious and very devout Christian, but he wasn't a fundamentalist, but he was a very devout Christian. Yeah. And he liked my paper, gave me an A on the paper, and then at the bottom he said, you know, maybe Mark just made a mistake. <laughs> maybe Mark made a mistake. He didn't, even, even his teacher, his teacher is not better than him. He was, he's not. You know, when you have a question, you take time and to study it. You cannot answer it like in a, a fraction of seconds. You that's you know, when you come to the Bible, you don't open your mouth and say this is wrong. But you have to study. You have to find out what what it it says. In my previous language and um, uh, in the, my previous video, I showed you that the Mark Jesus was referring the time of the high priest. At that time, Abiathar was the high priest, and the rest were priests. So many priests, but Abiathar was the high priest. Now, he said, oh, I study Greek uh, grammar on all these 30 pages. Why don't you write, why 30? Why don't you write 1,000? Why, why not? You know, these people, they don't know anything. They are devoid of the knowledge of void of the knowledge of God. They are void of the knowledge of God. And these so-called scholars. Wow. Wow. Wow to them. They choose the word of God. So you have to be careful, my friend. You have to be careful. We because somebody knows the language, it doesn't mean he knows. The, 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 you know, the Bible. No, that's not. Knowing the language is, 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 it helps you. It's a tool to help you understand. 
But if you are wicked and twisted like this man, it doesn't help you anything. It just it it just helps you to hide and to twist and, and to deceive others. Nobody say a man become God. Nobody in Christianity, even in the Bible, even the Bible says, okay. <clears throat> Uh, even the Bible says, uh, 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 and, and, and this is what? The Word the word was made flesh. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Kai halagas sarkis egeneto. Kai halagas sarkis egeneto. So what what does it say? The the uh, lo, logos the logos the logos become flesh. God become flesh, not the man become God. We don't have that teaching. That is heretical teaching. It should be condemned to the highest degree. He is teaching heresy. Nobody in the Christianity, in the Christian world, either in the Orthodox, in, in Greek Orthodox, in Ethiopian Orthodox, on, uh, and the Evangelicals, and anywhere, nobody says man become God. But he is uh, he's twisting that. We believe God came into this world and took a human uh, body. He became a flesh. So that he can save us. So that he can transform us. And do all among us. Kai halagas sarkis egeneto. Kai eskenosan in human. Kai ethesamata ten doxan aftu. Doxan omonogenes para patros pleris charitos kai aleteas. He was full of truth and grace. He came and dwelt among us. And it was from even the Old Testament in the book of Zacharias. Zechariah. We will go and see it. But this man, he twists everything. Nobody said. Nobody in Christianity. I, I, if anyone says that man become God, please, 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 let's discuss where is that, where that, that that doctrine came from? Where, where did it where did it come from? No. Because he knows he is because he reads the Greeks and it doesn't mean I just read the Greek. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. So my brothers and sisters, there are people who do not know the language yet know the Bible full well in their own languages, the translation. There are another, other languages rather than Hebrew and Greek and Aramaic and they still know the Bible very well. So it doesn't mean somebody knows the Bible when he knows the language or he learns about Arcadian language, Akkadian language, or Eucharistic language, or this language. No, that's not. You may know the language, but you are still in darkness unless you know that Jesus is the Savior of the world, unless and otherwise you come to in terms with God and accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, no matter what, no matter where you are, no matter who, who you are. That's the Bible, the language of the Bible. This is a foolish, foolish man who knows nothing. Okay? So watch out. Watch out because they say, Oh, I wrote this complicated uh, syntax and oh, oh, grammar and this and that. What? What? It's nothing. Just rambling and bubbling. Stammer. He stammers. So watch out, my friend. Uh, in the near, near future, we are going to learn the language. 
I promise you I'm gonna start to teach Hebrew and Greek and we will study together we'll grow in the knowledge of the Word of God and nobody will deceive us we'll go and find the root of the word and study the, what the Bible says yes we'll do that we can do that we can do it say I can do it yes we can do it the Lord is good the Lord is great yeah meet vision or oh, really meet vision they are this is these are myths whatever they say is myth thank you for watching may the Lord richly bless you have a wonderful day bye bye